Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So in our previous session, we have successfully rendered the products details using the EJS for loop and the if loop. Now let's try to create an add product form and whatever the product we are adding in the add product form, we'll try to show it here. So just try it, we'll try to make it as a simple. So here <coughs> add product form means let's go into the admin.js file. So here this is our add form. So normally these are all user slash add like this we are having, right? So let's try to change this one to products. So in our app.js, here we are having slash users as the prefix uh, for the routing. So I am changing it to products. Products. Now here let's go on to the admin.js. Now whenever the whenever any user tries to type product slash add, it will try to open this add user. Right now we need to open add product. Let's create in the view file, new view for new file or otherwise we can rename this one to add product. So this is our add product. Now this is not an HTML file. Why? Because we need to have a dynamic thing. So here I can use EJS. So this is our add product EJS file. And in this one, let's remove this all the code. Okay. And I will try to keep this one simple as simple as possible. And here we are having main.js. These all things are okay. And here we can have page title. So which will be coming dynamically. So is equal to page title. I can keep it like this. So this is our thing. And here we need to show a form method is equal to post. And this one is nothing but a title. Okay. This one is a title. And here you will be having add product. So let's try to make it as easy as possible here we are having a due or otherwise we'll get, try to make it as a p element let's remove this one in this one we'll have a label title and here i can have a title and in this label we'll have an input type is equal to text and we'll have class is equal to form control that's it so the name should be let's try to make it this one like this okay and here we should have uh, name is equal to title so this is the play this is the thing which will be sent to the server this name and here we'll be having another p tag and this is our button let's try to make it like this that's it now here this is the form and we can have an action let's try to keep the action products slash add here we'll keep an h2 tag add product so this is the thing that's it so let's keep it as a simple and here you can have a add product here we'll try to show products products slash add that's it home page add product.ejs file is created in the admin.js we need to do whenever user tries to get this one so here we need to render the add product add product so there is no need to give the prefix and here we need to send the views data. So in this view data, only one thing is required. There is nothing but a page title. So here, if you want, you can also send another data here page title. So here I can use add product. That's it. So this is our thing. Now let's try to see the output. If I try to see the output and here let's type products slash product slash add if i press enter we are able to see the add product form oh, these are somewhat basic so i am not doing the styling thing we can also do the styling thing also here we'll try to make dot container dot row dot call module so i'll try to maintain these all things and let's try to remove and paste it below the main yeah now if you see the output somewhat it will look nice i think yeah add product and now when i try to click add this product it should be added in the products array so it's a products array if we need to add it means let's go to this admin and this is a post so here you will be getting the title right so constant products data is equal to what we'll be having so this products product product is equal to so we should have a title so title will be will be getting using the request dot body dot title so if you want you can also add validations and all those things now what I need to do, I need to call the add product which is present in the products.js file. This method we need to call it. We cannot directly push it into the products thing. So this is the method we need to call. And let's go into the admin admin.js routing. And here I will write constant 
products data is equal to require it should be utils slash products that's it now this products data here i can call res sorry products data before redirecting i want to add the product that is nothing but the simple product finish now if you try to see the output <coughs> here i am adding product 2 product 2 we are adding and click on the add product see we are able to see the add product right now the products array we are having two products inside that one product 1 and the product 2 if you try to refresh this page so we are able to see all the time two thing, two products only why because this javascript is from the server not from the browser so when the javascript is loaded from the browser product 2 will be automatically deleted why because that products area is having only the product one so this one will have only the product one here is this one yeah this one will have only the product one whereas javascript is executing from the server so it will be doing like this now if you want to remove that one so we need to stop the server and we need to restart it again so now when you restart it again now only the product one will be visible so there will be no product two until and unless we restart the server they are up to up to then the array will be remaining the same so wherever you open the browser so you you can open in firefox internet explorer anywhere the products will be remained like that only now let's see that whether it is started or not the server let's see here so it is starting it has started now let's see that whether we are able to see it or not so now the product 2 has been removed now if you try to add slash product slash add here slash product slash add now if you try to add product 2 and 3 or something like this now product 3 is added here so this is how actually the products will work so now we have up to now we understood how to bind the template engine and how to add it these are all the things we have seen it right but there is one problem here not, not a problem how we can define the layout structure why because in all the html template engine if you try to see here so we are having this all the common code so this up to header and this up to navigation we are having all the common code and this home page add product these all the things are having the common product common code only so these are all ejs files common code why can't we divide a why can't we divide this all com common common code into a separate file why can't we include it here whereas in the handlebars and the pug if you try to use there will be a layout thing so they will be having a layout and you can use that layout but whereas in this uh, ejs we don't have that feature layout but we can do another process to get this reusable thing we can do it another process i will try to show it in you in the next session so we can divide this one and all those things into a separate file like uh, headers and also navigation like this we can divide into a separate files and we can include those files it here so that there is no need of duplicating the code entire code we'll try to do it in the next session hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you